welcome to Code Rush, Feature of the Week. So, Mark, what have we got this week? Hey, this week, uh, I'm just going to do some write lines, some console write lines out here and, uh, you know, be super excited about it. I don't really think we need a Feature of the Week this week. Uh, okay. I'm just going to send this out. I've got a Today Is, and, and we're going to send that out, and Pi uh, to four digits. Actually, you know what? I don't want to change this. I want to say, hey, uh, the current time is, and let's just hit run. And... Um, yeah, I don't think we're going to need any Codrush features of the week at all because, oh wait, hold on. Nope, that's not what I want. And pi to four digits, that's not what I wanted either. I really a little longer than you wanted, yeah. Yeah, that's a little longer. So maybe we are going to need the Codrush format assistant, uh, a Codrush feature of the week, which is the Codrush format assistant, which is goes like this. If you're around here, right, yep. and you uh, hit the colon key, you're going to get the Codrush mm -hmm. format assistant. So I'll be able to come in here and say, oh, okay, I want a time. Let's see. What's what's what do I want to get? Oh, I can do something like this, like an uppercase T, uh, for nice. example, uh, and that'll give it to me. So I'll just do that, right? I don't have to look it up. I don't have to remember anything. Pi uh, to four digits. I can come down to here. Pi's a float. I can just do this as an example. There you can see that F1 has got one digit right there. Yeah. I can take that and replace that with a four. And now let's run it. Uh, it's going to show up on my other screen. Let me move it over here again. And check it out, current time. There we go. That's much better. That I mean, that's just making things much more human readable. Uh, just just the facts, so to speak. Just the piece yeah. you're interested in. And yeah. it's particularly useful because it's a very discoverable feature because if you are, you know, you're writing code, date time now, colon. Oh. The colon T is a, is a natural part of C sharp. All right? This is just a perfectly yeah. normal thing. But when that colon comes in, we know there's going to be some kind of specifier of the format. So why not put up a, a sensible list of things there? And yeah. as you saw, um, um, F uh, works by itself, but also a numeric counterpart to that to show exactly how many digits and right. various combinations of things are shown there. And might, we just don't keep this hanging around our heads, do we? It's not worth right. spending the time to memorize these things. Uh, normally, we'd be off Googling. We'd be looking at some kind of page on presumably Microsoft site or maybe a blog post that somebody's done. But here, it's right in front of you. You don't have to take your eyes off the code. You don't have to leave what you're doing. You don't have to stop thinking about what you're doing. Code Rush helps you out, and you get to your answer. Simple as yeah. that. Yeah, that's it. Check it out. I just did pi as currency, so we can see it in dollars using uh, <laughs> three dollars and fourteen cents using my local currency uh, and uh, the number of decimal points. That's some not good bad. Pie. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Mark. That's fantastic. We'll see you next week on Code Rush Feature of the Week. For more Feature of the Week videos, click one of the two video links on screen or select from our playlist. Download and learn more about Code Rush from the DevExpress website. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest Code Rush feature videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.